What's going on everyone? It is December 12th and I am in Kentucky. Left early this morning, try to get down here for the afternoon sit. Um, I'm gonna be rolling in. I'm gonna have to jump right in the tree stand when we get here. I'm just gonna be like a little behind schedule, but um, getting down here, same spot that Cooper and I went hunting early season. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be a couple days. It's a Thursday, so I'm gonna stay through the weekend if it takes that long. Um, but bucks are on these late season patterns and with food and in Kentucky, you can put some treats out for them. So we got some treats out for them and uh, should be good. I'm excited to get in the stand. Warmer weather than up north. It's like 14 degrees in Michigan when we left and now it's 52. So a little warmer, but it's cold for them. So see what happens. I'm getting in the tree like right now. It is super late. Probably only have an hour and a half of daylight, but I'm sneaking in to a uh, redneck blind, actually. It's probably gonna be some deer. Or not. All right, coast is clear. I'm gonna go ahead and get in here real quick. Well, we're all up in the redneck. Some people don't agree with baiting, but I call it hunting smarter, not harder. So Jonathan, Terry, who's we're, who we're hunting with, who I'm hunting with, past week or so, he's put some treats out for the deer, and run some cameras and stuff, helping us out. And right here on this spot, there's like a mega six point, like big, biggest six point I've ever seen. And then there's a big old 10 point and both are coming in pretty regular the past few days. So even though we got in here super late, I didn't bust any deer out of here. It might've buckered some things up. I still have a really good feeling about tonight. It's super calm. Southeast wind, which is pretty dang. We'll see what happens. Well, everyone, welcome to day two, morning of, day, well, first morning I've been here. Slept in, I don't think I'm gonna be hunting mornings late season here, it's just not a whole lot of movement. Um, we're kinda like early season, late season, afternoon hunts are way better, so. Might as well not pressure them, but I'm out here. It is 11 o'clock right now, checking trail cameras. Um, just rolled up to a spot. We have three trail cameras right here we're gonna check see what's been on them the past week and kind of make a game plan for tonight and uh, getting a tree nice and early. Nice one. Decent eight point two days ago. That was about it. Well, just got a really nice buck on camera, and this is a buck that's been showing up for quite a while, and uh, some in daylight, um, but this is on the 9th, which is four days ago. Super clean, big 10 point, and uh, he's definitely, so far, it's been the shooter buck that, um, is coming in but we got like another three days on this card so hopefully he's in daylight excellent news he showed up in daylight three days ago that has me so jacked Well, camera number three had a lot of the same box as camera number two, but the big 10 never showed up on this camera. And this camera is only like 200 yards away. So he's there at camera number two, stand number two, every single night and twice in daylight in the past six, five days, last five days, twice in daylight. 
once in the morning, once in the after or twice in the afternoon, once or twice in the afternoon. So that has me super jacked and definitely honing in on that area. Um, this is a good spot too. And there are two smaller eight points that maybe towards the end of the trip, if, if the big Ten's not working out, I might slip an arrow through. So we'll see, we're gonna head on back and get right on back out here because it's 12.30 right now. And uh, I'm pretty jacked for tonight. We'll have to see what the wind is and make sure we're good, but uh, I'm pretty jacked. So I'm parked here and my strategy is I'm parked 800 yards away from the location that we're getting the big buck photos on, the big 10, the, the skinny 10, narrow 10. And he always comes in from the west. Every single photo, he's coming in from the west. So I'm guessing he is somewhere in between where I am parked and the tree stand, probably two, three, four hundred yards from the tree stand up in here. There's a river right next to us right here, and then there's a small creek that runs back in there. And if I had to guess, he's bedded up against that small creek 300 yards away from the stand or less. So what I'm going to do is I am going to park here 800 yards away, duck down into this river, and hopefully be able to walk the bank all the way there. My scent will be in there. They won't be able to see me because it's so open in here. It's like swamp ground. I think that, that'll work. If I walk on top here, there's a chance that, you know, he can see the truck driving back and forth, but he's kind of used to that. So if he sees a person walking back and forth, I don't think he's gonna like. Well, it is day two of going after the Big Ten. He, uh, he's pretty much coming in every night. I didn't check the camera um, today yet to see if he was there last night at dark. I'll check it after we hunt. I just don't wanna go in the area right in front of the stand and walk around and check that trail camera. So we're gonna slip in there. It's about 1.45 right now. So we're getting in nice and early. Hopefully, fingers crossed, he shows up.
northeast wind, which is about like this right here, which if it stays like that, it's fine. But if it kicks out a little bit or swirls, it, it might be blowing where deer possibly could come from. So have the Ozonics up in the tree. But really, if it's anything north, it blows across this river right here. So anything north, we're good. Corn pile looks like it got eight and nine last night. I have to refill it tomorrow. It's a good sign. Hopefully some new deer showed up. Found it yesterday. I am heading out to the redneck blind where I sat the first night. It has been raining all day long. I just baited some spots um, where the Big Ten's been hanging out and stuff midday while it was raining. And we're gonna head back in here. And the Big Six has been in here at night. So it's cold, really cold right now. Chilled way down. It's been in like the 40s, 45, 46, 47. And it's 32 degrees right now. So first cold day this rain might let up right at dark so that might get them moving right at dark so we'll see we're gonna head in there I'm gonna shut the cameras off so they don't get wet <clears throat> well we're in the blind it's pouring down rain it got absolutely soaked on the way out here for some reason it just decided to rain the hardest right when we walked out but there's been a pile of does at this spot. I checked the camera earlier today. So if a doe comes out, we might shoot one. We got someone that wants a doe. So probably going to shoot one if one comes out. But the big six is showing up here pretty regularly at night. But um, we'll see. Sit back. Got a couple hours till dark. See what happens. Oh, my God. 
big six. I just, I center punched him. I haven't been sitting here for 15 minutes. And he has not been in daylight in days, just days. And it's rainy. I was even thinking about like staying inside. <sighs> Holy cow. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> big. He's big. He's so big. <laughs> Huge thank you to Jonathan and his, his entire family helping me out. Just so big, opening up their doors and letting me hunt their place. It's, it's Kentucky hunting at its finest, and it's, I just can't thank them enough for letting me come out here. Wasn't even planning on sitting in the night almost. I almost didn't come out here. Well, it's been about 15 minutes now, and I know he's dead. I like watched him crash, so we're gonna um, we're gonna go get him. The shot was 14 yards, I think. Right out of the good old redneck. Oh, I see him. <laughs> he didn't make it 50 yards. Didn't make it 50 yards. Couldn't make it up the hill. <laughs> yes. Oh man. He's old. Just a mature buck. He doesn't, he's not even a seven point. He's just a six point. It's not even an inch. What an awesome buck. Still kind of surreal it happened. We haven't seen a shooter all the whole time, five days. <clears throat> it's just crazy how fast it comes together. You just always gotta remember that all it takes is 15, 20 seconds, sometimes 10 seconds for your luck just to completely turn around. But we're gonna we're gonna go get the ranger and uh, load this bad boy up. He's a, he's an old dude. He has a double throw patch too. I didn't realize that. I'm a big fan of the double throw patches. So. Well, thank you all so much for watching the Kentucky series. I had a ton of fun hunting down here. This is the same spot that Cooper and I hunted early season and I made it back down late season. Huge thank you to Jonathan and his whole family again. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This big six point is definitely maybe one of the biggest framed white tails I've ever shot. Super big, like I'm guessing four or five, probably close to five. I wouldn't be surprised because tons of mass and he's just, he's big and old. So super happy with him, but Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out B-Roll merch, support the brand. Thank you guys, everyone who just bought major Black Friday deals. Appreciate you guys. Catch you guys next time.